Hi folks out there in the internet world. I'm Jim from the Old Warlock. This is Alexander. Today I wanted to talk about uh, one of my favorite games and it's called Escape from Colditz. Now Escape from Colditz was initially uh, released in Great Britain, I want to say in the 1960s. Uh, sometime around there, might have been the 70s, but I, I want to say it was, I believe it was the 1960s. This game is a reprint of that one that came out just in the past six or seven years. Um, if you're looking to find it online, here's the um, top of the box. Uh, it gives you some idea of exactly what the game is about. And it, what it's doing is it's trying to allow you to play a game that recreates the escape attempts by Allied prisoners from Colditz Castle, uh, which was held by the Germans, of course, during World War II. It is a great game. Uh, there's a lot of excitement in it. Um, it's one of those games that if you play with a number of people of like mind, you end up uh, breaking out into a sweat as you try and get your prisoners to escape from the wall, escape over the walls or, or out the gates or get them into a staff car to, uh, to manage to escape down the road because the German player is, has a lot of things at his disposal, uh, including being able to shoot prisoners as they, as they make their escape attempts but the Allies get all kinds of things like tunnels that they can dig, um, they get special tools that they can use. Uh, overall, it's just a really great game. Uh, we're not going to go through and do a playthrough. If you look online, I'm sure you can find some of those. We really just wanted to give you an idea of what the game was about. Any comments so far? You're being very quiet. I think you're doing a great job. Thank you very much. So. Um, the, you can play with any number of players, I think from three to six. Yeah. One player, of course, has to be the Germans. Then the other players get to play one of the different groups of Allied prisoners of war who are in the castle. There are the British, there's the French, there's the Dutch, there are the Poles, and there are the... There's another one, too. Russians. <clears throat> Possibly. You know what I could do? I could actually take a look at the rule book. Maybe. Maybe I could play, get here, look at the rule book. Um, you end up having... A bunch of a different, bunch of countries, different from countries from World War II. From World War II. Okay, you have the Americans, you have the British, you have the Dutch, you have the French, and you have the Poles. So those are the, the players that you start with, or the, the, the groups that you start with. Um, as you move through each turn, each um, different allied player moves his people independently of the others. Uh, they, they work together to try and get prisoners to escape, but at the same time, if, they, if only one player from one group manages to escape and one group from another player uh, manages to escape, the allies don't win the game. The Germans end up winning the game. This is a point of contention with him because he sucks at this game. I'm really good at it in that the only one, two of the only times, the two late last times that we played this with the people that we play games with, I beat the ever loving tar out of this guy because he was being the Germans and me being the French hero that I was managed to get people, two of my people to escape both times. It's but in his feverish it's, mind, it's he thinks that it didn't happen. It's He's interesting wrong. how people can delude themselves into believing that they won when they twist the rules enough to make it seem like they did. It, seem, it seems to but me as though anyway. everyone else there agrees with me. But anyway, I'm, I'm really quite good at this game, uh, especially when I play the Germans. I've never lost as the German player. Um, but it is fun to play the Germans. It's also pl uh, fun to play one of the Allied characters. Um, but there, it gets a bit cutthroat uh, at, a, at, at a certain point between the Allies because one of the things that you can do, you do have to get two of your um, playing pieces off the board uh, in order to win the game. And so very often you find yourself waiting for one of the Allied player, one of the other Allied players to commit themselves to their escape attempt and then going after, instead of uh, trying to support them, you let them be uh, victimized by the Germans and then you end up uh, making your way off the board yourself or trying to make your way off the board yourself. Essentially, the way the game works is early on you have to try and create resources that you would need to escape, whether that's false identification papers, uh, rope, wire cutters, um, or just escape. Excuse Very good to escape, escape equipment. Yeah, just escape yeah. equipment in order to leave. Um, and then you just have to use these. You can crawl out windows using ropes. You can cut through the fences. Uh, you can get in the staff car and you can try and drive that away. Uh, you can just make a run for it if you manage to 
break through a wall or so there's 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 tunnels you can tunnel down and try and dig your way out um, there are a lot of different ways you can go about it and you don't have to announce anything that you're doing that's one of the that's one, jobs of, the fun, that's of, one of the fun parts of the game exactly though. that's one of the things <clears throat> that the germans have to keep an eye on is where your pieces are on the board at any given time so they can try and figure out what your plan is and then be able to deploy their guards in order to stop you from escaping now the germans have a lot of things at their disposal they you do draw cards uh there is a there is an uh an element of luck in the game as there probably would have been uh during escape attempts yeah uh, from Kolditz, because this is actually a situation that occurred in world war ii at Kolditz castle but the germans have a lot of things at their disposal so they can call they can uh, make for roll calls they can arrest prisoners that are, are carrying contraband uh, or escape attempt items uh, and then at the end of the day, they also have the ability to shoot you as you run away. Um, so there, there are a lot of, it's a, I think it's a very well-balanced game. Mm -hmm. I do think that all of the games that we've played of this, we've played quite a few, um, it really comes down to the wire. I don't think we've ever really had a game that no. was over in, in half of the turns that are allotted for a, for a full game. It's usually come down to within the last three or four turns of the game that, and that's out of, what, anywhere from, I think, 60 to 70 turns. Yeah, um, the turns are counted, so you only have so long in order to make your moves and get out. But I, I think we've run, like I was saying, we've, we've run down to just about the last few turns before Every we determined time. whether or not yeah. somebody was successful or not. That's why I say this is a, this is kind of a nail-biter game. Uh, if you have the ability to imagine yourself in this situation as you're playing the game, it can be a, a really exciting uh, game to play and an awful lot of fun. Uh, the only thing that I would say is that it does take a long time to play. If, if this is not something you're going to knock out in two hours, you're looking at four or five, maybe six. Yeah, especially the way down. we play, we yeah. uh, we do end up taking slightly longer than other players, I'm sure. But they, regardless, it's it's a it, game that takes yeah. a long time. Um, but I highly recommend this game. It's a little little bit on the pricey side, but it's not too far outside the realm of most uh, modern board games. Uh, it's extremely well made. It's well researched. There are um, there are a couple of different things that come with it. One is actually the history of Allied prisoners of war in Kolditz Castle and some of the really cool things they did to try and escape. Uh, if, you're interested in, if you're interested in that kind of thing, I suggest that you Google it and find out, you know, Google um, Escape from Kolditz Castle and see what kind of things actually happened and some of the, the crazy schemes that the, the prisoners tried to do at Kolditz Castle, some of which were successful. Mm -hmm. The rules themselves, there are one or two rules that are a little bit difficult to understand, but not, they're not terrible. Um, the game is packaged exceptionally well. It's made to look like uh, the holders for the cards and things are made to look like uh, uh, care packages from World War II. Uh, again, just a lot of effort and care went into this, and it's, it's, to me it's an exceptional game. It really is. It's entertaining. Uh, it's well-balanced. It's difficult for both the Germans and the Allies. Uh, it's well, for some people. Yeah. It's, co it's complicated enough so that it's detailed and fun, but it's not overcomplicated, so that you have to spend hours upon hours upon hours reading rule books and trying to decipher yeah. what they mean. Yeah, once you've played, if you play, manage to play through one game, or not even a full game, if you get through 10 turns of a game, you start to really pick yeah. up on how the game flows, and it does have a good flow, and there's never really a dull moment in the game. No. Uh, even though you might play it for four or five hours, there's really never a dull moment in the game. So... Highly recommended. One of my favorite games. Uh, if you're really interested, go find a playthrough somewhere online. But uh, if you have any interest in World War II, if you have any interest in um, groups against one player uh, type games, this is something that you would probably want to take a look at. Um, have a look at it. Give it a shot if you, uh, if you have a chance to find a video online and maybe you can pick it up. I don't know if it's still in print, but I imagine you can pick one up on can, Amazon sure or eBay or somewhere. somewhere like that. Yeah. Good game. Thanks for watching. Have a good game. Keep your sword on free. Bye.